Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're taking a look at Hero Express. This is available now on the Microsoft Store, priced at £4.49, that's $4.99 or €4.99. Right, let's jump into it and check it out. Right, so uh, this is the level select screen. Um, I've completed four of them already. Uh, so it's a side-scrolling, sort of physics-based, platformery sort of thing. Um, you have to drive a vehicle from the start to the finish. Uh, collecting cl coins along the way. You'll never make it on the first attempt. Uh, you have to spend the coins to upgrade the vehicle. So it's a bit of a grind to uh, get enough upgrades to finish the level. Um, but you can do any of them in any order that you want. Um, so we're going to go and do one that I've not done at all yet. Uh, so let's go to this one here, the Hero versus Quaker. And uh, we'll do a couple of these and maybe jump back to one where we've fully upgraded a vehicle just to see how much uh, of a difference it is. So there's two difficulties as well, normal and hard. Uh, you have to complete it on normal first to unlock the hard uh, level. Right, so you can do your upgrades before as well. Um, obviously, you, I've not got any coins at the minute because I've not done anything at all with this level. So you come back to this screen afterwards and press Y to upgrade and you've got your engine stability, wheels, traction. Uh, so each vehicle is different as well. So this is the Duna, a bit of a um, monster truck style thing. Let's crack on with it anyway. So it's simply pull right trigger to go, left trigger to stop and reverse, and you can also change your vehicles uh, sort of back to front if you like. You can make it do back flips, front flips. So it's stability, you can change that. Uh, this is quite jumpy, this truck. Let's try and power through this mod. Um, there's also things like that, so the screen's been splattered. We picked up a uh, spray bottle earlier on, you can press Y to use that. You can also come across uh, these wheels that let, let you jump with the B button. That wind is pushing us back there as well. And if you can see at the bottom of the screen we've got the fuel meter. That's more of a timer on this. So that's constantly going down. You just need to get to the next uh, fuel can before that runs out. Which we're probably not going to do on this run. It's so close but no we're not going to do it. So there we go. Game over. Uh, so we've got ourselves 1,066 coins, uh, so we can come here and do some upgrades. So let's put some in the engine and traction, and uh, we've got enough, not got enough to do anything else, uh, so we can just press B and then retry. Um, let's see if we can get anywhere a little bit faster with this now. So it's an improvement already. Clean that off. Try and keep ourselves as close to the ground as possible to get through this sandstorm. There we go. Right, so you can see at the top of the screen as well, that's your progress. Uh, there's also a, a jerry can and a crown on there, they're overlapping each other. So the jerry can fuel can is uh, the next one that you need to get to and the crown is where you your best finish in place on the level last time you played. Uh, the coin at the bottom of that track is also like a waypoint marker, we should hit that very soon. There we go, you get a bonus amount of coins for that. So we've picked up one of the jump um, power ups as well now use that like so that's not going to do us any favors there at all just thought I'd show you that so we've got a little bit further that time uh, I'm gonna run out of uh, fuel again so we can put some upgrades in we'll go for traction again um, we'll give this one more quick run then we'll have a look at uh, another one of the levels that I've not done just a random one we'll just pick one at random as we come out of this that off. Right, watch out for that wind. That's going to really make us struggle now. Should have timed that run a bit better there. Come on. Get back up a 
little bit. There we go. That should get us over. You can see at the top of the screen the crowns move this time, so it's uh, where we finished last run. Come on. No, we messed it up because we uh, uh, got the rhythm wrong when that wind was blowing. Right, that's that anyway. Uh, so that level was that one just there. Let's go and do. Let's do the dragon one. Right, again, new no upgrades available. Okay, this is uh, tricky already, making the truck struggle with those steps. Some rocks there. We're we gonna get up this hill. No. Let's see if we can get a decent run up now. Come on, quick. I doubt it. Just not enough power in this thing. Oh, so close. Well, so you get the idea then, anyway, that you have to keep playing to get the upgrade points uh, to be able to finally finish it. So uh, if we come out of there. We will show you. Go to the very first one. Right, I'm classing it as the first one. This one here. Um, I'm going to do a run. Well, I attempt to run on the normal difficulty. Then we'll switch it to hard just to see the difference. So upgrade wise, I've just got it to level seven on each one. So it's not fully upgraded, but because it, it's only level sevens needed across the board to get the achievements for these uh, vehicles in this. Um, so let's give this a bash anyway. So yeah, attempt to run on normal and see what the difference is on hard. Get some backflips in. So you can see the difference with this little vehicle compared to the other one that we just had. Uh, the amount of speed difference. Into that one the uh, crashed it then so if you took because you can do backflips and stuff if you do land on your roof or some levels where there's alternate heights to get to so you can go from a lower level to an upper level if you uh, hit the roof of the vehicle uh, it will crash so you have to be careful of that as well right big jump oops I'm going to put up with this now because I've not got a spray bottle to clean that off. Right. Oh, there we go. It's disappeared anyway now. There's a jump. We're not bothered with that. That was lucky. Just over the halfway point. really test us in a minute. Mind you, to be fair, to be fair when the vehicles are as upgraded as this one is, it, it is a bit of a breeze um, to get through compared to what they're like as standard. So let's get this next 
jerry can there we go and the finish is just up this hill where we need to be careful we don't tip the car over big jump and we've finished right so that was that one easy so let's switch over to hard to see the difference Um, shall we upgrade? No, we'll leave it as is for now, just so we get a perfect comparison. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to be more obstacles, a completely different course. Feels a little bit different. close as well isn't it let's use that there as we landed in the pool Come on, it's over there. Ah, my flipped is over. <laughs> Time a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to do it for today then, guys. So yeah, that's uh, just a preview of Hero Express. So as I said earlier on, it's available now, so go and check it out if you're interested. Hope this video has given you a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it has, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.